bear down. So the Las Vegas Raiders have hired Cliff Kingsbury as their offensive coordinator. He is the former offensive coordinator of USC and Caleb Williams. He is also the former head coach of the Arizona Cardinals and one QB Kyler Murray. Didn't go so well there. So the implications are what does this mean as far as the Raiders and their draft status and their quarterback position? It has been rumored that they do want to trade up to get Caleb Williams. Is this the case? How does this affect the Bears at number one? Let's get into it. But before we get started, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to make sure you stay locked in to Draft Capital Sports where we provide all the NFL draft news, NFL offseason news, trades, etc. for your 2024 NFL offseason. Now let's get back to the video. Now, another one of those worst kept secrets in the NFL is that the Las Vegas Raiders are looking to trade up to draft one Caleb Williams. Now, it's not clear whether they want to trade up to number one. Of course, that would be the easiest and most uh, effective way to make sure that you get Williams in the draft. And the hire of Cliff Kingsbury as their offensive coordinator has now brought those rumors to a fever pitch. Now, let's get into some scenarios where the Raiders could trade up to that number one spot with the Chicago Bears. Now, during last offseason, a lot of uh, pundits would say that certain teams beyond uh, pick 10, I believe they would say, were kind of out of the running for trading up to the number one pick. Now, there has been teams who traded from the back of the draft or the middle of the draft, I should say, to that number one pick. Uh, the most recent one besides the pick, the trade last year was the Tennessee Titans in 2016. I'm going to show the um, details of that trade now on the screen. As you can see, it was quite the haul for the Rams to go up and get Jared uh, Goff. And of course, we know the price that the Bears set last season with DJ Moore receiving the first round pick number nine, receiving the second round pick number 61. Very important when we get to discuss the Raiders trade, receiving a 2024 first round pick and a 2025 second round pick for the number one overall in which they drafted Bryce Young. It was a rough year one, but that's more on the Panthers and less on Bryce Young. Now, first things before I get started into the scenarios, what I will say is that the Raiders, if this is true, if this is their goal, they are approaching this in the right way and making it their target from day one. It tells me that Tom Telesco and Champ Kelly, along with Coach Pierce, already have a direction of which they want the Raiders to go. They know exactly what they want, and what they need on the team, and they're making every move to make sure that their plan is successful. So now the question becomes, what would it take to make the Bears move off the number one pick? Let's say the Bears had already planned to pick a quarterback at number one, which if you watch this channel, you already know. I don't think that was the case, but let's say it was. That means it's going to take quite the haul to get the Bears to move off the number one pick. However, I don't think a team is going to be willing to pay more than the Carolina Panthers paid last year but it's all relative. Let's look at the scenarios. So the number one asset, I believe, in that trade from 2023 with the Panthers was a Pro Bowl receiver in DJ Moore. Now, he was on a, an expensive contract, so that does take away from the value of him in that trade. As he said in an interview, uh, he felt like he was a number one pick in that trade, and that is probably why Poles settled for a 2025 second round pick. Now, the Raiders don't really have a comparable piece on their team to DJ Moore. Devontae Adams is quite a bit older and on a much worse contract. And I don't think Max Crosby will be on the table for the Bears to trade for. However, there are two very key players on the Raiders that I think the Bears will be very interested in. Now, first up, we have wide receiver Jacoby Myers. Now, the Bears in trading for Myers would take a $7 million cap hit. That's much less than the, I think it was $18 million for DJ Moore last season. Uh, now, but I think that the um, the return will have to be a little bit higher than it would for the player I'm going to name second. So I think it would take, of course, pick number 13 in this year's draft. The number 44 overall pick, second round pick. Now, remember, the pick that they traded for last year was number 61 from Carolina. That is a key. That's a little bit more valuable pick. A 2025 first round pick, of course, Poles gets his 2025 first round pick and a 2026 first round pick as well. I mean, Jacoby Myers is a very nice player. He had eight touchdowns over the season. He's very dangerous in the slot. The Bears do need a slot receiver. 
However, four spots in the first round of this draft and the prospect of what is being called a generational quarterback is worth that extra first round pick in 2026. Now, the second scenario I have starts with a different player on the team, and this is, will probably be a little controversial. We'll see. But I believe that the Bears last year did covet another trench player, another uh, defensive lineman that they probably would have drafted last year or there would have been a conversation if this player had fallen to them in the draft. And that is defensive end out of Texas Tech, Tyree Wilson. Now, you better believe that Ryan Poles is going to try to get Wilson in this trade one way or another. So the way I see that breaking down would be Tyree Wilson. And I believe that carries a trade cap hit of five million dollars. Uh, 2024 first round pick number 13 2024 second round pick number 44 2025 first round pick still but then a 2026 second round pick which matches the compensation they received in the carolina panthers trade last year now i have to be honest i'm torn on which one of these options i think is the best option we do need a veteran receiver like jacoby myers would kind of speed up the process i also think that I would take those two first round picks and trade back up within Arizona to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. Because if a team trades up to the number one pick, I believe the quarterbacks will go one, two, three in the draft. I don't see New England or Washington deviating from drafting a quarterback. So this move and this possibility of many moves now, I'm going to try to cover it from every angle. Um, we're going to do scenarios where the Bears still trade Justin Fields. I'm going to do scenarios where... We trade with Arizona. I'm going to do scenarios where we just select both of the uh, first round picks at nine and 13. Roma Dunze is not that far behind Marvin Harrison Jr. He is behind, in my opinion, but he's not that far behind. Um, I don't see Malik Neighbors lasting until the ninth pick. I think he will be the second receiver off the board, if not the first. Some people will value his speed not because I think he may test faster at the combine over Marvin Harrison's size. So the table is set now for even more, even more possibilities. I mean, this is this is starting. I mean, we haven't even gotten to the Super Bowl yet. And already the offseason is looking crazy. It's looking like it's going to get crazy. Look out for Luke Getze. If Luke Getze becomes the Las Vegas Raiders quarterback coach, then I know what's up. I know I know where we're going with this and we're going for. The Raiders are coming at the Bears for that number one spot. But let me know what you think of everything I laid out in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It's getting wild out here, NFL fans. Uh, and I'm here for it. Let's just watch. Thank you for watching. Peace.